I'm Mike, N2MAK, and we're back at Park Kilo 6532 in Western New York. We're gonna try the Rybokoff antenna again, but this time we're gonna do it QRP. We are back at the uh, same spot I parked at last time here at the park, and you can see very similar setup. I got a lot of questions after the first Rybokoff video about this little blue box. This is a LDG one-to-one -one unun for connecting unbalanced feed line like coax to an unbalanced antenna like the Rybakov. It's the same manufacturer of the four-to-one unun I have, and I also have an LDG nine-to-one unun for random wire antennas. They cost around $30, but you can get them for a little less if you watch for sales. The one-to-one -one acts as a choke to help reduce common mode current and RFI that you can get when using unbalanced antennas. Another option would be to wrap some coax around a toroid or use some loops as co of coax as a choke. The Rybakoff antenna should work without it, but it's good practice. We got the one-to-one -one along with the four-to-one. That's connected to uh, the radials. There are six 17-foot radials. And then the uh, radiating element is uh, 25 feet, and that's going up the uh, MFJ 33-foot uh, mast around you can see the radials are marked off by cones all right i'm all set up in the car i've got the mat 705 tuner the icom 705 let's do this so on six meters we were able to get the mat 705 tuner uh, to tune the Rybakoff. this is at the six meter ssb calling frequency cq poda cq poda cq poda this is november 2 mike alpha kilo calling cq for parks on the air standing by for any stations anywhere all right here's something interesting i noticed with us the antenna tuner on six meters so here we are uh, i'm gonna go click to tune it up and uh let's check the swr and see what it is here all right and you see it's Two or above, not very good. Well, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna scroll up a little bit higher in the band. I noticed this, so let's just go there. Let's click to tune. All right, now let me check the SWR, but I'm gonna go back down. I apologize for this uh, shaky camera here back down to where I was. All right. Now it's tuning it at about 1.6. It's odd. I, I'm not sure why it's doing that, but it is what it is. If you have any thoughts on what that might be, leave a comment down below. Let me know. All right. This is the uh, six meter FTA frequency and tuning up. Uh, we're able to get a good match. Yeah, about about one five SWR. All right, here goes. We're gonna call uh, CQ Poda for six meter FT eight. There it's going. Getting about a one point five one point four SWR. Full power is getting out. No no ALC. All right, we've tried uh, calling just a couple times on a six meter FT8, no luck though. We'll let it go one more time and see if we have any luck. All right, we clicked tune on uh, 30 meters and got a good SWR about 1.4. All right, we're calling on a 30 meter FT8. Let's see how this goes. You can see no ALC, low SWR, full power is getting out. All right, we got one in the log so far on a 30 meter FT8. Had to take a short break to have an eyeball QSO with another ham who was here uh, doing some drone flying. Let's see if we can get a couple more. All right, made three uh, quick FT8 contacts on uh, 30 meters and gonna go switch bands now and see what this does on SSB, uh, running just 10 watts. Give it a tune on uh, 10 meters and uh, we'll start there, see what we can do. And here's the uh, SWR uh, below 1.5 on 10 meters. Over. On 12 meters now, we'll see if we can get it to tune up. Uh, 
it's not great. Below two, but uh, not ideal. Here's a look at the uh, SWR, just under uh, 1.5, uh, the 15 meter band. QSL the 5.5, also QSL, you're correct on my part, which is Kilo Dash 157. This is Whiskey One, Alpha Whiskey Slash Zero, calling CQCQ from Kilo Dash 8157 and standing by. All right, we just got a Whiskey One Alpha Whiskey park to park, uh, 10 watts on the Rybakov antenna. All right, tuning up on uh, 17, and we'll see how the SWR is here. Okay, it's 1.5. All right, here's uh, 20 meters and we'll key up and uh, see what the tuner does. All right, SWR is below uh, 1.5, not bad. Roger, Roger, I copy the 5.9, it's 6.5.3.2. I've got you 5.9 as well. I have three parts, three parts. Let me know if you're ready for all three. All right, here's 40 meters. Click to tune and we'll see what it'll do on 40. Okay, able to get a low SWR on uh, 40 meters. We'll see what it can do. QSL, your QRP is sounding good today. Roger, Roger, I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm using a Rybakov antenna right now and trying to QRP with just 10 watts. Glad to know it's uh, making the trip out there and uh, thanks for the good signal report. Yep, you're hitting 5.7. I watched your video. I know all about it. Okay, final thoughts. We just finished up the activation here and uh, was able to get a little over 40 or so contacts on all the bands, 10 through 40. That includes a uh, 30 meter FT8. Um, very happy with, with how the antenna did. Uh, I was running 10 watts QRP with the 705. And we used the uh, MAT705 tuner. And that was able to tune it up on, on all the bands, uh, no problem, 10 through 40. What was a little different was I, I, I got a flat SWR on bands like 15 and 17 with the 7300. That wasn't the case with the MAT705. But again, different radio, different tuner. So I can't complain about that. Again, it still performed well, especially on those bands. It was a little odd on six meters. I, I wasn't able to make any contacts SSB or, or FT8. That's not a surprise, but the tuner was not able to get a good match on, uh, on six, at least around uh, 50.125, the SSB portion of the band. Um, if I, if I jumped up closer to 51 megahertz, I was able to do a tune that gave me a better SWR, more like 1.5 as opposed to 2 or, or higher, down in the, the 50.125 portion of the band. But I don't know why that is. I, again, this is not going to be an, an ideal antenna probably to use for six meters, and I'm not expecting to. I just wanted to give it a test and see what it could do. Um, overall, I, I'm, I'm happy with the performance of the antenna. I was able to make 40 plus contacts on, uh, on bands 10 through 40 uh, with, with just a single setup, was not having to get out of the car to, uh, to change antennas or anything. And this was my second time using it and doing the setup and I feel like it was 10 times easier to set up once I've done it once before and I'm sure that after I use it a couple more times I'll, I'll have the setup set up down down pat so uh, certainly recommend anyone that, that's interested give the antenna a shot it's not very difficult at all to put one together all you need is a is a four to one and then a choke uh, give it a shot see what it can do for you if you've tried it leave leave a comment down below let me know how it's performed for you and if you like these videos uh, please click like subscribe to my channel I'd appreciate it I'm Mike and 2 mak 73 pause while we wait for the geese